Developing now on WFMY News 2 at 6, the Boil Water Advisory still in effect for the Burlington area. More than 800 businesses have been forced to close. Meantime, people are scrambling to get bottled water. The city says this advisory could be in effect for the weekend. Our team is bringing you coverage on the effort to flush out the system and how the problem is impacting thousands of people and businesses. The advisory stems from a pipe at a Burlington apartment complex where water samples revealed E. coli contamination. The health department says it found decaying insects and other organic material in that pipe and believe that's what started the problem. Let's start with WFMY News News Marissa Tansino. She joins us live now in Burlington with the very latest. Well, Julie, Chad, finding bottled water around here has really been the focus of today. No matter who you are, the hospital has been hauling it in and people have even been coming out to this Walmart, finding it stacked in their cart to get around this water boil blitz. 10,000 gallons here, two or three cases there. The Burlington Boil Water Advisory has people turning to bottled water after the city found traces of E. coli and a spigot outside an apartment. It prompted hundreds of businesses to close and the school system to put a stop on its to-go meal program for the day. While the contamination is still believed to be isolated, they're keeping the advisory in place out of an abundance of caution. Yes, we have plans to extend at least through, through Monday morning if necessary. We have uh, command center calls with all of our leadership team uh, planned twice a day uh, for today, for uh, Saturday and Sunday. Alamance Regional Medical Center President and CEO Mark Gordon says the thousands of gallons of bottled water they have on hand will be for washing hands, bathing and preparing food. Cone Health doesn't expect needing any more water deliveries this weekend, but at Walmart, shoppers were stocking up on a few cases to make sure they make it through. It's pretty much like what's been going on, right? Something breaks out or something happens like this and people kind of panic buy stuff. I mean, I don't know. It's kind of unfortunate to go with the herd, but you got to do it, right? And the city believes again that decaying insects and organic matter is the source of that contamination. After the state recommended it, the city created a perimeter around that apartment building, flushed the entire system, and then ran tests again. As soon as we know the results of those tests, we'll bring them to you. Marissa, thank you. Remember, this boil water advisory remains Excuse me, it means that all city of Burlington water customers should boil their water first before using it for things like drinking, cooking, brushing their teeth and more. This applies to Burlington, Elon, Whitsitt, Gibsonville, Hall River, Ossipee and the village of Alamance. Graham and Mebane are not included.